Hello, everyone. We're looking at April 11, 1942, here in War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. And I'm Friedrich with the Allied Forces, my opponent TF 1377 with Japan. Uh, we find something going on over here near uh, north of Rabal, but we don't. Um, they catch us off guard, but we're too, I think we're, we got in below their depth chart. Oh, we did take a hit first. So we'll have to take a look at that and see if we need to go back to base for repairs. Come on, Gar. Yep, torpedoes miss, because if you, if, you, if you can't destroy it with an explosion, why not just miss? Oh, man, you're going to have to go back to base just to get... This crew needs serious training. But hey, maybe they'll maybe they'll go up in experience here. I, I might take a look at that and see how much the gar goes up from this uh, experience here. So deck gun versus deck gun. Probably out of torpedoes here. Low on gun, gun ammo. My guess is also torpedo ammo. All right, Zambuanga time. So he's been softening it up with aircraft, so it's about time for an invasion, which we get here. Uh, just a disabled squad. Nothing happens here. Ten coastal guns. I don't know. What uh, What even do we have here? Yeah, I don't even know what size guns we have. It's, well, we're, more casualties from getting off the boats than from our... Uh, than from our coastal artillery. Okay. Naval reaction phase. For what it's worth. We, we haven't had any surface action for a long time. So now we're at half strength. Five coastal guns. Only one disabled non-combat. I mean, obviously, that won't have a big impact on what what he'll do when he gets in here. Okay, the narwhal decides to fire torpedoes at a destroyer and a big whiff. But they, um, they don't find us either. Wow, four torpedoes. Oof. That's a big waste. Well... Certainly have to go back after that. Enemy carriers. All right, so Nels are bombing from short lens. Uh, yeah, and then he's got carrier bombers as well, so uh, this will be... The, the Port Moresby is definitely going to be pummeled into submission here. And, of course, we lose a, an aircraft on the ground, uh, air, uh, P-39D. But, uh, yeah, again, until this episode is over, I don't mean the one I'm recording... <laughs> Until the Port Moresby situation is settled, I'm probably going to be kicking myself. And maybe even beyond, but uh, we'll see. But right now, oh, he did spot us here in the mountains. Uh, and we're still, even with the terrain, we're not able to hide well enough to get out of, um, to get, to take some destroyed squads or destroyed non-combat units there. Softening up Zamboanga for what's sure to be an attack. Not this turn. He's got to set it up, but sure, certainly next, next uh, tomorrow, the 12th, they'll be attacking. I'm certain of it. But we're 
we've got air superiority here. He's got air superiority, um, celibus and, and Philippines. But our air superiority does nothing. The moderate rain keeps us from doing much. Okay, we decided to bomb here. And I'm okay with that. Partly because I figure if he has the long range cap this, uh, he's going to be... But, you know, yeah, I think he long range capped it. But anyways, hopefully he'll be dealing with ops losses and hopefully we don't deal with too many looks like we got we got in okay and we're hitting something some runway hits not much going there see if we can get out of there without any losses just a couple of damaged although they may be destroyed on the way back they may crash ops losses etc we did get some decent hits in and we're bombing the airfield uh, yeah airfield here uh south of surabaya I can't, it's like L L L L I, I can't remember the name it's kind of a limidyang um just a few hits here not too bad probably easy to repair but a follow-up raid so that helps let let I didn't notice the weather. Let's see what that was. Moderate rain also here. And only two runway hits. Alright, Kumok. The never ending bombing. Supply dump hits. Always nice to see. And. Nice hits here. Apparently, I need to get some B-17s, heavy bombers, bombing the East Indies because these things will tear up runways pretty badly. So now we got another Jake and really tearing up the runways now. We did get bombers into Port Moresby to bomb me his ground units. This did almost nothing. Uh, hopefully it fatigues him and and um, disrupts him but otherwise it's basically uh, let's see what did we hit because I don't see also hit so let's see the main hit was the 14th division hopefully we roughed it up a little bit at least I don't know because that was very weak but hey he didn't intercept us and and you know knock out some of our bombers so that's good all right so got another raid into kumok with three b26s and it looks like we did actually decent damage to for for just three aircraft i mean now we take pictures yeah that's funny but we had high detection level anyway. I think we'll be okay. I mean, that's one of the reasons probably why we're doing such good hits. Come on, guys. Reported hit. We'll see what that means. Again, my faith in that is basically zero. So, Lily is hitting southwest of Terracan. I guess our troops there are, if any, if nothing else, are an annoyance, needing to be dealt with in some capacity. All right, liberators, follow up. Another Jake destroyed on the ground. We did take a damaged aircraft. I guess this flag is operational. Two runway hits. I did. I did set a portion of my air units this time I'm starting to set these guys to rest because I, I like it when they all go but if I set them to rest keeps the aircraft some the aircraft that I rested and the crew fresh hopefully oh man look at that this is gonna be awesome 
This, I think this is going to be awesome. We get to fight in Australia. Woohoo! Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. He does. I, I hope he doesn't realize we have the seventh division right here. Um, I don't know how far he's going to get past this base, but this is this is cool. I, I'm looking forward to the fight here. Even if he knocks us around, I think it's going to be fun. So um, we don't know what it is. We know he's losing some stuff here from the invasion. SNLF squad, so uh, 46th Naval. Okay, so we do know a little bit. He's got artillery regiment, mortar battalion, naval guards. Yeah, so cool. This is this challenge is going to be very interesting. All right, he's bombarding us here. Uh, okay, so one of his divisions pulled out. I bet I know where it's going, Australia. Okay. So he, uh, he okay, counter battery two disabled uh, squads. Deliberate attack. I don't I don't know that this is gonna go well, but I guess we'll find out. Let's do it All right one to two level fort level three Yeah, this is So we both lost the same amount destroyed base essentially uh, But disabled is really high and it's gonna take you know some time and energy to fix so and we didn't lose any of our fort levels so I think we're in okay shape. It'll be a while before he does that again. And surely he's going to start pummeling us with air, air forces. All right, another deliberate attack here at Port Moresby. Let's do it. All right, so this time it's one to one, fort level two, although he does reduce the fortifications to one. Let's take a look at the damage here. Wow. So we lost a good chunk of stuff as far as destroyed. Similar to him. Uh, very similar, if not worse. But these disabled, you know, they're going to take time and energy to fix. Uh, now, he's got the advantage of reducing the fort level. But yeah, and, and there's no way we're repairing that. Or, rep you know, raising that fort level again. But... This isn't bad. This is uh, what what's concerning me is by invading Cook, Cooktown, it's going to be hard for me to evacuate whoever retreats up here. So we'll see how that plays out. But um, he, I don't think he realizes we have something here that's building this base up. Now it's going to be cut off out of supply here if he takes this Cooktown. But uh, I'm going to keep doing it. I'll just have to store up some supplies there. All right, and he's doing a deliberate, another deliberate attack here. He could do a shock. I wonder if a shock attack would help. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we surrendered anyway. It's all done. It's all over. Okay. All right. So the other thing I wanted to do while I was looking here, but we'll look at it in the after action report. I wanted to see if his troops, if he still has a tag going up this way, like maybe he's pulling back more units. But now that I, I know he's going to Australia, he may decide this is this is going to be uh, a backwater. He's going to turn this maybe into a backwater thing because it's just so hard to take. I don't know. We'll see. I have no idea what his objective is. Uh, his objective here I mean so 26 uh, sorry one destroyed squad two disabled from our bombardment and um, we're bombarding him here because we do a lot of damage when we do so why not or we have been now this is way less than last turn but still one destroyed eight disabled 
Okay. And bombardment at Zamboanga. No effect. Well, no discernible effect. And that's that. Cape Town up expansion. That's it. So it tells me I'm going to need to go around the map in Australia and make sure to confirm the things that are upgrading the forts because if he's coming in there, we need to make sure it's defensible. I'll be right back. So I pulled this up as, as you know, when you pull it up, Pearl Harbor is on the, is the first thing you see. And when I did that, I got to thinking, and I was going to go where the hotspots are, because that's where the action is, and this is this is uh, just not much is happening here, especially now his subs are left. And I it occurred to me that his maybe the reason some of these subs aren't here, or we're not seeing them, because there's no way our eyes are were blinded all of a sudden. We still have ASW circling, and we still have planes circling. There's no way we're missing stuff. I mean, I guess it's possible, technically. By the way, I'm going to, since we're circling this and not finding anything, I'm going to chase this guy down. But here's what I was going to say. So I think I know what's happened. I, com, pure conjecture, of course, 100%. He's pulling his subs to strangle Australia now because I, I think he's got them here, here, here. Now when he's ready to pull the trigger, he pulls them all off because he's going to start lining Australia. I mean, this explains why he had a sub here. So when I saw that sub, I thought, well, what's the point in having the sub here? But now I see it because when we come up to do something, like say, for example, target these ships, his sub is here. Now, I'd probably put it here, something like that, but still so clever. Uh, but but now I'm not, I'm not, um, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, it's got a sub here. If he starts bringing subs to line this or, or up here or, or out here, because as we start saying, oof, we better reinforce all this. He's gonna he's gonna be um, trying to sink our convoys to Australia, and it also explains why he did a deliberate attack here. He probably wants to peel these divisions off to land here, but we're gonna hold as hard as we can, keep him bottled up there and bottled up here. We'll see we'll see how it plays out. But yeah, this is getting really cool. I I mean. Uh, from a real life perspective, it would be like, oh no. But from a game perspective, it's it's like, ooh, I love the, the boldness and the challenge. So let's uh, jump into the stats here. So we did lose one destroyed on field. That was our P-39 at Port Moresby. But thankfully, we lost none of our bombers that bombed in the Dutch East Indies. He lost two on the field, two Jakes and three operational losses. So let's see what those are. Um, plus we got a lot of political points now built up. Now we can start thinking about what we want to do with them. So two Jakes on the ground. And, uh, I'll talk in a minute. <laughs> I want to jump to Australia, but I, I'll, I'll get to it. One Betty Ops, one Zero Ops, and one Claude Ops. I wonder if those are flying cap over the carriers because they're certainly not flying cap over this uh, because we bombed it without flying into the cap. And here's our, our B, P-39 that was shot down or uh, uh, destroyed on the field. Did we lose any pilots? No, thankfully. 
I don't know if he did. That I won't be able to tell. Uh, let's ch check. Uh, no ships reported sunk last turn. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, I guess that's... Uh, well, I'll take a look at this real fast. In six days, we're going to have to pull back some PBYs, which is unfortunate. And then so we have some bombers at Townsville that are... Okay, so we're going to... Okay, I think I know, actually. He was flying cap here, I bet. And... Uh, I bet if we bomb him here, he's going to be flying cap there. So maybe we'll keep bombing here. I don't know. But let's take a look at this. We've got three more P400s. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and do this now. I don't want to wait until later. And I don't think I'll forget. But let's just get them off, off Port Moresby. So we've got a lot less here, six, nine aircraft that could be destroyed, but it's a lot less, and that's a lot easier to to um, to deal with. But check this out. He doesn't realize we have 12 uh, serviceable P, I mean, well, it's going to say P-40s, but yeah, Kitty Hawks, Australian aircraft that we can strike up here and uh, this is perfect I, I think this is good timing because we i have been considering this for some time these are uh, we're, uh, look he's got in here with tanks there's no way he's attacking this turn but we're gonna fly any australian aircraft this is our excuse to bug out we're gonna fly them all to australia I feel like we need to get all available fighters and bombers down here because this is going to be a bloodbath, I think, um, in the air because he's going to fight for it and he's going to give himself a base here, which, speaking of which, uh, no thank you. We won't be helping you with that. Um, I'm okay with keeping this expanding and also saying, oh, I already have. Um, please build this up with supplies. So, um, I may send, as soon as we get some AKs back here, yeah, we've got them out. I may, I may bring them around the horn and drop off supplies right here, um, and tell it to stockpile because, um, I don't want to, uh, lose... I want to be able to use that as an air base for our PBYs, but also for, um, well, particularly PBYs, but mainly to pick up troops off the, off whoever, whoever ends up retreating up here. If they even retreat, it's possible there's no base. So they'll say, okay, we give up. Um, in which case, if they're going to fight to the death, that's going to be a long campaign for him. All right. Yeah. He, I, I don't know this for a hundred percent, but he's going to, I believe he's going to pull out, uh, but here's the problem. He's stuck here, right? Uh, he does see this now, but now is the time to flip this to bombard. Um, and I'm going to remain on station because if he has any shells left, I want him to bombard again. Uh, and for that matter, let's make sure our aircraft is not training anymore, but is reconning the base. Okay. And same with this one. Okay. So uh, I know I know we're reconning already uh with our aircraft but i want to make sure that we have spotters for the battleships and i don't know if remain on station means we'll do a night bombardment and a day bombardment but i'm going to do that and then because i feel comfortable with keto butai still being up there up here then i feel like we can remain on station and 
he's not doing anything with us here. So again, I'm comfortable with this uh, unloading. And this may be, this all may be sideshow to him now that he's hitting Australia. But here's what's cool. I, I'm really uh, happy that it turned out the way it did. He didn't take these these key bases. That, well, he took Luganville, but we got it back. He didn't take these key bases, Southern New Caledonia, Luganville, and, and Denny before we were, before he invaded Australia. So I think that gives us a little bit of a heads up to, um, to now, he didn't cut our line of supply and communications to Australia because we can go south of these islands and still um, be avoided. Whereas before, if he took, especially Noumea, um, then invaded Australia, we'd have to go way down here, maybe through New Zealand to get there. But now we're still, I, I believe we're still safe, even this close because this is uh, completely unusable at this stage. Anyway, I, I'm pretty pumped about our situation. Um, now, can he uh, turn the tide still in this area? Definitely, he's got the power. But since he's invading Australia now, he's pulled that trigger. I think, I think these islands, he's just going to let go. Um, but that reminds me. So you know how we had the twenty um, the twenty seventh division is is holding these. So now I'm gonna say, okay, you're planning for um, we'll say Brisbane. We'll just say Brisbane. So the fortieth division. The 27th is still going to invade Johnston Island. But this division is going to plan for Brisbane. And hopefully we can get them built up. We still got a lot of disabled stuff going here. Um, I wonder if rest helps. I honestly... Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to set everything to rest. Oh, well, all this stuff. Um, our, uh, yeah, Brisbane, Brisbane. And for now, they'll be, I'll be content leaving them here uh, holding this. Uh, what was I thinking? So we'll be content hold, holding here. Uh, and whatever we use, uh, here's what I think I'm going to do. As we gear up to take Johnston, which will happen soon, we will um, plan, uh, we will uh, invade and use the transports to come back, pick these guys up. But after we take Johnston, the 27th Division, in fact, uh, I'm going to flip... I'm going to flip. Do, do, do. So this unit here, uh, I'm going to release finally to the also to the Pacific for now. Done. Because I want to build this out. No upgrades needed yet. And we'll say, please plan for the 27th to go to S Sydney. For now, we'll just say Sydney, okay? So I think we're okay. We'll still hit Johnston Island with this uh, with this unit here, and that'll, um, yeah, I think that'll work. Um, and then these two, these two regiments will hit Johnston. I think Johnston will be easier than Midway because I don't think he's reinforced it more than, um, more than, uh, maybe one regiment. Whereas Johnston, I think had two, uh, sorry, Midway had two Johnston, I think only has one, but anyway, we will find out, uh, soon enough. 
this has a ways to go before it's filled out. Um, we just we just don't have a lot of equipment. That's part of it, but but yeah, we'll get there. We we've we've also got time. We've got time because our ships are still um, refitting. I'm not gonna do it yet. I I don't want to pull the trigger just yet. But surely he's gonna be expecting us sometime soon. As soon as our uh, and because this has become the primary hot hot zone uh, between here and here, uh, as soon as we've got some subs refit, we're gonna patrol this heavily uh, for car cargo, transports, carriers, etc. And this is gonna be really hard, hopefully, for him to keep resupplied. Uh, I also wanna get more subs guarding Rabal and Truck because I think that's where he's mostly coming from. But, you know, if I could get, if I could spare a sub to cover Shortlands and Tulagi, also great. Because that's where he's flying a lot of his patrols and bombers, and which means he needs supplies there. So, um, anyway, this is going to be, I think, really fun. All right, so, um, so we've covered some different hot, plot, hot spots and and backwater spots let's go back here so we lost our troops here at bay bay so that part of the area is done zambuanga is coming up i'm gonna just defend because um well we've got plenty of supplies hey if you want to bombard do it have fun have at it it may not do anything, but that's fine. If it if it does one level of disruption or fatigue, that's that's all that's all fine too. So I want to bombard with everything I can here as well. To whatever effect that has. So. Okay. Well. This never did get supplied, so it's it's going to probably fall. Very, uh, well, he doesn't have anyone here, but as soon as he walks in, it'll probably just collapse. Uh, yeah, it's just, just Surabaya is just holding, hoarding everything. So let's cut back. And see if they'll release some, because we don't need 46,000 supplies to get captured by the Japanese. I'm going to continue to bomb this airbase, because I don't know what he intends to do with it. Um, or And certainly, I may just bomb these two bases. Well, you know, I, I think what I'm going to do... Is all the American made bombers I'll hit the troops here because of the guns okay I think I'm gonna okay the Dutch bombers will hit this base next this one's pretty badly beaten so it may it may be a while before he's using it and he may be just hit may he may have stopped here with his engineers and air uh, support to build this up so he may not be planning to use this anytime soon there's no troops here that we can tell everything moved out here uh, so i'm going to hit this base with the dutch bombers and these troops with the american bombers so um that's what we'll do i'll, I'll get to that uh, i'll get to the details another time we'll wrap this up um but let's see if he's still advancing uh shoot he stopped his advance here just in time possibly just in time oh well so we'll that's it um that's a shame because it looks like burma you know i was hoping to catch him off guard for one but Burma may may not be a thing. It, if his focus is Australia and he's not going to finish this crossing, 
Uh, but we'll keep flying over here. I want to see what he's. I want to see what he's planning. But we'll keep flying recon because maybe we just lost the imaging of where he's moving. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind still holding out. You know, Pegu and um, this this area. Now, if we see him retreating or, or going this way, then certainly I'm gonna um, come back. But and I'll beat him, so I'll wait until he's left this hex before I come back. Uh, so we found our position here. I just want to hold across the river here. It's pretty good terrain, uh, times three. So he'll have to cross and and shock attack. And I feel I feel a lot better having even if it's a small 23 assault value unit. I feel a lot better at least not having him come in the back door. And all of a sudden we're sitting here holding this base, and all of a sudden troops appear here. That would not be fun because he even though it's bad bad roads, he can supply as he comes up here and hits Lashio from the rear. I didn't want that to happen so. So I feel a lot better about that, and if necessary, we can release some of these troops, but there's no rush there. Um, and he did a deliberate attack here, obviously depleted our supplies, as you can see here, um, not in a good way, but but you know we'll get this back up hopefully. Yeah, I'll just keep it as is. Um, but we held, so that's that's positive news. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, it looks pretty static. Same, same as the last several days, weeks, months. And yeah, uh, things are okay, I think. Terracan Base Force still holding out, making him surely uh, annoyed. Um, we got some guys here annoying him, but getting destroyed now. And then we're, our troops are trying to reform here. We've, we're supplying the base very little. Um, but then, uh, yeah, uh, this ship, as soon as I'm, I'm going to let it sit here, and fully unload because as soon as I leave the leave here, uh, and he still doesn't see it. But as soon as I as soon as I leave here, I want to hit uh, Surabaya as fast as I can. The range is seven. If I do full speed, it will. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know how that's going to play out. But if I do full speed, it'll get to here, which is almost, you know, one hex away. Now, he may have a sub here, too, but, you know, it's it's what it is. But, yeah, we can pick up more supplies and, and shuttle it back. Um, I mean, for that matter, we could grab whatever we little bit we have there. Anyway, uh, okay. The idea here is we have 40 assault value here. We've got three, uh, zero, okay. Yeah, that, that, that guy got wiped out. Uh, seven. So uh, trickling in here is a little bit of a salt value, but if, you know, if it gives this, if it bolsters, it's just enough to make him spend a little bit of extra troops to take it. You know, I, that's why I want to supply it if I can. But we're looking okay, uh, I think. Now, Kandari looks like it's immediately turned into an epic base. Uh, the port damage is high. The airfield damage is low. But he does already have fighters here. So we're going to stop bombing that. Um, and he'll repair that quite readily. Oh, uh, so... Yeah, I guess that's about it. We're just Now we're just going to get back on plan to naval uh not naval attack but keep training because as soon as he starts thinking about heading to ambon or some of these places in the south here um we can be ready and he'll have to do a long range cap to cover this 
which operations losses, etc. But yeah, uh, things are okay. Uh, things are okay. Even even as bleak as uh, Port Moresby looks, uh, but even more now, I'm really glad I didn't bring the seventh division up here because now we'll have the seventh here to help hold the north. I, I keyword help because not hold the north, help hold the north, and because it may be so. Let's see, this is times three terrain, and this is I may I may put units here and here. This being times three, it's going to be hard to invade, and this being times three, it'll be hard to get behind us. So, but, but maybe here and here, because, uh, because then he can't, you know, come, e just easily come this way. Although he could go this way, that's a, a thing. So maybe I'll put a, just a small blocking force here. We've got some spare units to spread out because, you know, look at all this. So I could like, for example, I could take uh, a recon. I thought I had a recon. I could take one of these independent companies plus, uh, what am I missing? Like an armored regiment? Yeah, armored car. Maybe one of these two things I could send up to Normanton and, um, you know, dissuade just a quick, uh, this will be some, I think, times three terrain. And then have some forces here and here we got to keep some forces here too and this is clear so this this uh has no bonus but what i'm going to do is as soon as the airfield is up to six we'll flip the 100 percent fortifications get that up to four but we might be okay but i i may i, I don't want to do to send too much up north uh, from down here but anybody in these rear bases, uh, we'll get them to the beaches as soon as possible. Such as, uh, well, I think Waga covering this is okay because that's not really going to be a strong beach force anyway. Um, but for now, I'm going to, I'll, I'll I'll go around the map and see what I have to spare, and we'll we'll shift some guys north. But I think for now. Uh, so like Brisbane, we don't really have anything to spare. We've got a couple of brigades. I feel like, oh, especially because this is clear hex, uh, I feel like with these especially clear hexes, uh, this has the second division, but S Sydney is too important to move the second division away. So the seventh division is going to have to hold up here by itself for now. Um, so yeah, good, good stuff, good stuff. Maybe I'll p take one of these pioneer battalions over here and try to build this base, build this fort level up as well. All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me and I hope it was inter as interesting for you as it was for me. I think this is going to get very uh, exciting, dangerous, intense, suspenseful, but we'll get to it. We got a lot of work to do. Thanks for joining me. It was uh, a pleasure, and um, we'll be coming back to talk about the April 12 turn resolution next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye.